I'm very honored to have more than 85% of the conference vote for me. That's like winning the primary. Who wins by 85%? So we're going to the floor. And I believe we'll get to 218. Why? Because if we don't, none of those investigations go forward. We either are successful together or we will fail individually and we will not be given the possibility or the opportunity to be in the majority again. Kevin McCarthy scrambling to find the votes for Speaker when the new House is seated in January. Just a handful of votes to spare. McCarthy facing a perilous test. Here's 538's Nate Silver on his chances. On the surface, Kevin McCarthy would appear to have a lot of problems. But dig deeper and it's a bit less clear. Let's start with one seeming problem. 31 Republicans voted against McCarthy in a secret ballot vote to be their Speaker, with those votes going to Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs of the House Freedom Caucus. Republicans will likely have a four to five seat majority next year, and McCarthy can't afford that many defections when the House officially votes for Speaker in January. But that may not be a deal breaker. In 2015, Paul Ryan initially had 43 Republicans prefer another candidate. Four years later, Nancy Pelosi had 32 Democrats oppose her, but their members fell in line and they both became Speaker. The thing is, there needs to be some alternative to McCarthy, and it's not clear who that might be. Some hard right members would like to see a different Speaker. But the GOP won their narrow house majority through a mini red wave in New York, where they won six seats won by Joe Biden in 2020. Those new moderate members will be top targets for Democrats in 2024, and they probably won't follow conservatives against McCarthy. According to betting markets, McCarthy has a 75% chance of being speaker, while Louisiana's Steve Scalise is the second most likely candidate at 10%. But Scalise is McCarthy's number two. He said he isn't challenging for the top spot. Bottom line, I think it will be a rocky road involving multiple ballots, but if you're forcing me to pick, I buy that McCarthy will eventually become Speaker.